How we doing there boys and girls, Mathis here and welcome back to another video. So last couple of days we've put some uh, Mr. Pandaria Remix guides up on the channel. We did one yesterday for a very quick leveling path from 10 to 70. Day before that we did a couple of bronze farms. But instead of bringing you a guide today, I wanted to talk about something that has been a bit of a hot topic over the last few days and something I feel quite strongly about. And I feel quite strongly because I actively believe Blizzard are getting this very wrong um, and I want to talk about the cost of upgrading your gear this mode this time running mode is meant to be super duper fast uh, furious you meant to feel overpowered um, and you're meant to eventually be able to one shot stuff which by the time you are fully geared you can absolutely do that but it takes way too goddamn long to get here. And I wanted to try and showcase in a little bit of detail today exactly why this is. And so hopefully, you know, who knows? Maybe a Blizzard employee will see this and go, actually, you know what? He's right. Um, there is some really good reasons to why they're, t they're going about it all wrong. So in a little blog post they put out the other day, they actually mentioned that looking forward, we want to let you know that we do not plan to change the bronze cost, bronze cost of upgrading gear. I think this is a terrible decision. This is a terrible decision for something that they say about three sentences later. Uh, they then go on to say that the gains in power that come with increasing your item levels are exponential, not linear. This is really, really important information to understand. And this also goes to showcase why the current structure they have for upgrading your gear is backwards. And it shouldn't be this way. I'm going to try and explain it with a little bit of paint. Uh, I did this on stream today. Uh, this monstrosity was my first attempt at this to try and showcase what it is. I will try and make this uh, a little bit neater, a little bit tidier. We'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a new version of that for now. Oh my God, it's bright. I'm sorry, please hold with me. Um, let's unbright that, shall we? So the concept here is that Blizzard are saying that your gear scales exponentially, not linearly. So what does that actually mean then? Well, for those of us that have played retail, we are used to the fact that the more time you play the game, um, let's put a different brush on here. The more time you play on retail, so you've got time. Uh, the more time you play, your, 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 you know, your, your power, power, I can't write sideways, that's power. The more time you play the game, the more things you do, your power tends to like steadily increase, right? This is a rev very linear power increase. You get 10 more item levels, you get a little bit stronger. You get 10 more item levels, you're going to get a little bit stronger still you know it's it's uniform it's understandable how fast your character is going to grow the difference with remix is that it looks more like this right so you start off you have to spend a lot of time and you have to spend quite a bit of bronze starting to upgrade your gear and for quite some time it doesn't feel like it's doing anything or you're not getting anywhere and it takes some point before it starts to snowball and you start to get super duper mega powerful in remix every time you do an item upgrade which can directly be linked to time because it's exactly the same cost to do each level of upgrade 38,500 i think it is 40,000 bronze for the sake of maths 40,000 bronze to upgrade all of your items by one rank. Um, and it's going to take you roughly the same time every day to get 40,000 bronze. So it's practically the same concept here. Every time you do an item upgrade, you expect to see a little bit of power gain. And it starts off really slowly. Especially when right at the very beginning, you start off feeling like you hit like a limp noodle. Um, you are getting one shot by stuff. People have been complaining about scaling for days at this point, um, and quite rightly so. When you ding level 70, you have practically zero chance against most content. You can be out in the world and just random world mobs can one-shot you out of nowhere. You are absolutely a limp noodle at 70, and you need to do a couple of item upgrades before you even feel as if you can stand on your own two feet. And so, you know, you can kind of split it into three, really. You can split the graph sort of into three. You've got this first period in time. 
Um, for reference, this whole period of going from zero to max gear takes roughly 60 hours. It's 600 thousand bronze six six hundred thousand bronze uh of which you can get at about 10k bronze an hour pretty regularly um by playing the game so quick maths on that about 60 hours of playtime is what it takes you to get a fully geared character which i already think is too long but i think the way that they're doing it could definitely be made better um this is why having a cost your cost line is something like this, right? So you're going to have steady incremental costs to your upgrades for quite some time. It means at the beginning, it feels horrible. It feels terrible. It feels like you're having to spend 40,000 bronze and you're getting nothing, right? Not to mention this could be your first 20 hours of play. Your first 20 hours, could you, you could put all of your bronze into your gear and you don't get nowhere. Once you get to about, I want to say, uh, th this is probably sort of item level, I don't know, uh, th I don't know, this is probably 370 item level, and this probably is about 410, 420 item level. Um, when you get to about 370, it starts to pick up, you start to feel as if you can hold your own, but you've already had to pay like a third of the total overall price. Yet you're not overpowered yet. You're not super duper mega strong yet. You fight through it. You keep going. You keep playing. You play for another 20 or so hours and you farm up a whole bunch more bronze and you start to upgrade a little bit more. Then your DPS starts to increase at this exponential rate and you start to get into the sort of overpowered feeling. You're getting a bit sort of stronger. You start to take on a scenario it's almost solo. You start to carry a dungeon group. Uh, it starts to feel good. Um, you, you know, maybe at this point you're doing almost a million DPS and then a few more upgrades later by the time you're fully maxed, that one million DPS is five million DPS and you feel like a god. The point I'm trying to get across here is that all of the fun is over here. All of the fun of this game mode is like 20, maybe 40 hours into your character. All of the fun is over this area. The overpoweredness, the the, the sort of the, the feeling strong, arguably the fun is all at the latter part. You have to basically play 20 minimum, 30 probably hours of farming bronze before you get to the fun. Blizzard, please, this is ridiculous. This is this this graph shouldn't work like this. If you're going to have this exponential growth of power, the sensible thing to do is to have very, very small upgrade costs at the beginning to let people get through this bit quite quickly and increase the uh, increase the costs of upgrading towards the end here. Um, or, at the very least, you need to nuke the amount of bronze that is needed in its entirety to level up. 60 hours to get one character fully geared out in a mode that's only around 90 days. Most people are considering that pretty unacceptable. Um, and that 60 hours, I should also point out, is probably after, you have, uh, you, after you've already leveled that character to 70. Which the first time round is going to be quite slow for most people. Um... So I hope this goes to show that this linear cost of upgrade and this exponential curve of power doesn't mix. It doesn't work. Um, you either need them to both sort of track similarly or you need to massively reduce the amount of cost that it takes so that you can get to that fun stuff quicker. If they halved the amount of bronze that was needed to fully upgrade your gear, you would get into this fun bit much sooner, much faster. People wouldn't be running out in the open world desperately seeking down every hyperspawn they can get their hands on. People wouldn't be so mad about the fact that they're getting one shot and that scaling feels gross. People wouldn't be trying to take all of their jewellery off their gear to cheese the boss's health to try and make it easier. More people would be readily willing to put bronze into their gear to get to the fun stuff. Um... Yeah, I think they have, they have really missed a trick with how the progression is meant to go in this. And it's so easily fixed. So easily fixed. I'm unbelievable. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's a bit ridiculous they haven't decided to do anything about this. And I hope they turn around at some point and are not so willing to stick to their guns on this. And I hope they are willing to revise this 
in my opinion, batshit crazy decision to not change the bronze upgrade costs. Because I hope, at least, if you've followed what I've been going through here, I hope you now start to understand a little bit why it feels the way that it does. A lot of people have felt this, but they haven't quite been able to figure out exactly why and have just gone, oh, it's too expensive, I'm not gonna bother. But I thought I'd use a little bit of maths, a little bit of a graph, a little bit of a visual indication here to try and showcase how it's actually working and why taking 40 hours of time to even get to the fun stuff in this sort of game mode where you're meant to feel pretty overpowered pretty quickly is probably not the right way to do it. But I'm, I feel as if I'm rambling at this point, boys and girls. I think I've made my point. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section down below. Um, are you spending your bronze on upgrading your gear? If you, if you are, you've probably got some way along this path so far. Let me know how you've been doing. Let me know what point you start to feel overpowered. Um, or are you in the camp of people that has chosen to not spend a dime on their gear and are only using their level 70 characters for purchasing the, the collectibles? Let me know. Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.